watching the news and Bahrain television coverage. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Royal Decree Number no. 18 for this year restructuring the National Authority for Oil and Gas. He also issued Decree Number no. 19 restructuring the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. His Majesty also issued Decree Number no. 20 appointing Dr. Riyadh Yusuf Hamza as President of the University of Bahrain for a four year term. He also issued Decree Number no. 21 transferring the General Director of Policies and Wage, Adel Hajj Ibrahim, to be General Director of Human Resource Development and Performance at the Civil Services Bureau with the rank of Assistant. Undersecretary. The decree also stipulated appointing Jamal Abdul Aziz Al Alawi as General Director for Jobs Organization and Salah al Din Abdul Rahman Ajlan as General Director for Policies and Wage, both with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit today to the Royal Guard headquarters in the presence of the Bahrain Defense Force Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Upon arrival, His Majesty was welcomed by the Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. After the national anthem, His Majesty the King inspected the guards of honor. استاذن جلالتكم بتفقد طابور قوة الواجب سي استاذن جلالتكم ببيت طابول العرض سي then a military parade was performed
الى اليمين فر الواجب الخاص رقم ثلاثة 
تتقدم بهيئه الاستعراض للامام هو معتدل سر هو After reciting verses from the Holy Quran, the commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he thanked His Majesty the King for his visit, which reflects his support that encourages all BDF affiliates to continue performing their duties. He affirmed victory is near, saying that Force of Duty 3 troops have returned and are replaced by Force of Duty 4 in Yemen to fight Houthis and militants of the exiled president. His Highness Sheikh Nasr commended the wise directives of His Majesty the King in supporting Yemen and its people, pointing out Bahrain participation in the Saudi-led Arab coalition. He praised His Majesty's efforts in achieving Gulf solidarity and integration through historic decisions to unify stances in the face of enemies that threaten the security of the Gulf and the region. He pledged alliance and commitment. <laughs> أيها الحفل الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته قال تعالى في محكمة تنزيلة قاتلوهم يعذبهم الله بأيديكم ويخزهم وينصركم عليهم ويشفي صدور قوم مؤمنين صدق الله العظيم سيدي صاحب الجلالة يتشرف أبنائك البواسل حماة الوطن في هذا اليوم التاريخي العزيز على قلوبنا جميعا بزيارة جلالتكم للحرس الملكي وكما عودتمونا يا صاحب الجلالة بتفقد أبنائكم في قوة الدفاع في مواقعهم وميادينهم فمنكم سيدي نستمد القوة والعزيمة والإصرار وبكم نرفع هاماتنا عاليا اعتزازا وفخرا بما تحقق سيدي إن بشائر النصر لقريبة بعون من الله تعالى وتوفيقه وعلى أعداء الدين والعروبة والإسلام فها هم جنودك الأبطال من قوة الواجب ثلاثة العائدين من ساحات الرجولة والكرامة والشرف وزملائهم في مجموعة الواجب أربعة المتواجدين على أراضي اليمن الشقيق يستبشرون الأمن بالله جلت قدرته بأن النصر على الحوثيين وعصابات الرئيس المخلوع باتت مؤكدة وقريبة بإذن الله سيدي لقد كان لتوجيهاتكم السديدة والحكيمة في الوقوف والتضامن مع الأشقاء اليمنيين لنصرتهم وتثبيت دعائم حكومتهم الشرعية ومشاركة مملكة البحرين مع قوة التحالف العربي بقيادة الشقيقة الكبرى المملكة العربية السعودية وإن جهودكم يا صاحب الجلالة في تحقيق هذا التضامن والتكامل الخليجي مع شقائكم ملوك وحكام دولنا الخليجية والذي لمسناه من خلال ما نراه اليوم من مكتسبات وإنجازات وقرارات تاريخية بتوحيد المواقف والوقوف ضد أعدائنا صفا واحدا أمام ما يهدد وحدة أمننا الخليجي والإقليمي قرارا استراتيجيا وحصن منيع بوجه كل عدو طامع سيدي لقد كان لأوامركم العليا والحكيمة بمشاركة الحرس الملكي ووحدات قوة الدفاع بالواجب العملياتي الخاص على جميع جبهات القتال في جبهة الدفاع عن الحدود الجنوبية للمملكة العربية السعودية وفي جبهة مأرب وجبهة عدن أكبر الدروس المستفادة تضاف إلى ما وصلت إليه قواتنا المقاتلة التي أضحت في كل الأوقات والظروف تتميز بالكفاءة والمهارة وتحدي الصعاب وهذا بإشادة أشقائنا في القوات السعودية والقوات الأماراتية والذين نعمل معهم جنبا إلى جنب وهذا لم يكن ليتحقق لولا دعم جلالتكم المتواصل ولا محدود لقوة دفاع البحرين من حيث التخطيط والتدريب والتسليح سيدي وفي الختام نعاهد الله ونعاهد جلالتكم بأن نبقى على العهد والوعد وعند حسن ظنكم بنا ورهن إشارتكم وإن دماءنا وأرواحنا فداء لديننا ووطنا ومليكنا أدامكم الله سيدي للبحرين 
وللأمة العربية الإسلامية وحفظكم الله من كل مكروه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا مرحبا يا مرحبا يا عاهل البحر يا راعي الوقفات يا حي Then first Lieutenant Mansour al-Khaldi recited a poem on the occasion After that, His Majesty the King presented medals of appreciation to a number of officers and non-commissioned officers as well as members of the Royal Guard Special Force members in appreciation to their noble duties and performance. His Majesty hailed the participation of Royal Guard men in Yemen alongside BDF forces and units within the Saudi-led Arab coalition in Operations Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope in Defense of Legitimacy and Justice based on United Nations resolutions for the best interest of Yemen and its people. The operations also come in protection of the region and its country's sovereignty in the face of foreign interference. He expressed appreciation for their efforts in humanitarian aid operations to the Yemeni people. His Majesty the King congratulated all Royal Guard affiliates on the occasion of the Royal Guards Day, which is marked on the 25th of March of every year. <laughs> وقت الملاقى نبحر القاوين واللي نوانا في بلاوية ما لا معانا غير موت اهدين وبين العرب ما تلحقه دية عهد علينا يكرم المعطين ما نخذلك لا ثارت الحية بالحد من الدافع ما بين وبين بين الجسارة والقيادية للضد نار وفزعة المسكين وافعالنا تبقى بطولية وناطع على راس المعادي لين يبرق لنا النصر ومواريا وناطع على راس المعادي لين يبرق لنا النصر ومواريا والرز رايات الشموخ سنين الله أكبر نارنا حية سلامتك His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter from President Jose Mario Valls of Guinea-Bissau regarding reinforcing bilateral relations. The letter was received by the Foreign Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed Al Khalifa during a meeting with Special Envoy of Guinea-Bissau President Mamedo Sano, currently on a visit to the Kingdom. The Foreign Minister affirmed keenness to reinforce joint cooperation to serve the interests of both countries and people. Envoy Sano expressed his country's pride in the bilateral ties of friendship, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met today at Glebia Palace with the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health and President of the Bahraini Diabetes Society, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, who presented His Royal Highness with the Scientific and Media Committee members of the Fourth Diabetic Conference and Exhibition, which was held recently in the Kingdom. The Prime Minister called on increasing efforts to introduce lifestyles that contribute in avoiding chronic diseases and intensify awareness campaigns to limit these diseases, especially diabetes. He confirmed the importance importance of research and studies in the field of managing and controlling chronic diseases in addition to curing and preventing them. His Rohan has praised the efforts of the Bahraini Diabetes Society and the Gulf Diabetes Studies Group in organizing such an important conference, affirming support to different medical conferences and gatherings that aim at exchanging expertise and reviewing the latest medical and therapeutic developments. The Prime Minister urged reinforcing cooperation between governmental bodies and civil society institutions so as to reach better methods in handling diabetes and providing best health care for the patients. For his part, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah thanked the Prime Minister for patronizing the event, which encouraged its organizers and contributed in its success. He affirmed His Royal Highness's support to developing the health sector in Bahrain helped turning Bahrain into a medical hub in the region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met today with several members of his Zayani family led by dignitary Johnson bin Abdurrahman Al Zayani who thanked His Royal Highness for his noble sentiments and condolences on the demise of the family's deceased member. They said the Prime Minister is an example for cohesion between the leadership of the people highlighting his constant support to the people in all occasions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asserted that communication is a characteristic that reflects the one family spirit of the Bahraini society and embodies the values of brotherhood and love which reinforce the unity 
unity of the people throughout history. He pointed out that Azayani family's role and con contributions in consolidating economic growth and activating commercial and industrial development in the kingdom. He also commended Azayani's family role in charity and social work, as well as their humanitarian initiatives to serve the society. For their part, the audience expressed gratitude to the Prime Minister for his support, wishing him health and happiness to continue serving the country and its people. His Royalness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met Rafat Palace today. Lord Mayor of London Geoffrey Maudivance and his accompanying delegation who are currently on their annual visit to the Kingdom. His Royalness the Crown Prince affirmed the visit reflects mutual interest to reinforce joint cooperation and coordination in line with the historic relations between the two countries. He asserted Bahrain's legislative and organizational system ensures flexibility in dealing with national and international economic developments. He said nations' development is based on diversity as a foundation for sustainable growth, highlighting Bahrain's keenness to enhance its efforts to preserve its success and diversifying its economic sectors led by financial and banking services and investments. His Rohanis the Crown Prince highlighted the outcomes of Bahrain's economic policies, stressing support to the fields of industry, tourism, logistics, infrastructure and financial and banking services. He pointed out the role of the private sector in Bahrain's development process. For his part, Lord Mayor of London expressed keenness to continue continue developing bilateral relations, commending Bahrain's identity and culture. His Royalness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited to offer condolences majlises at the Big Matam of San to express condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa regarding the death of Sayyid Jawad Al Wadai. His Royalness prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and grant his family consolation and patience. His Royalness the Crown Prince highlighted the vital role of religious figures and preachers in enhancing values of brotherhood, tolerance and patriotism in order to support the cohesion of the society. Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, met today at the Council's headquarters the Grand Mufti of Russia, Chairman of Russia's Mufti's Shura Council, Sheikh Rawi Ainuddin, and his accompanying delegation in the attendance of Russia's ambassador to the kingdom, Vagif Gariev. The two sides discussed means of further enhancing bilateral cooperation between the SCIA and Russia's Mufti's Shura Council. The first Deputy Chairman affirmed His Majesty the King's keenness to support the culture of dialogue and religious coexistence. For his part, Sheikh Rawi Ainuddin expressed his thanks and appreciation to the SCIA for the warm welcome. President of the SCIA held a lunch banquet in honor of the chairman of Russia's Mufti's Shura Council and his accompanying delegation.